European polecat. The European polecat, Mustela putorius, is a species of mustelid native to western Eurasia and north Morocco. It is of a generally dark brown color, with a pale underbelly and a dark mask across the face. Occasionally, color mutations, including albinos and erythrists, occur. Compared to minks and other weasels, fellow members of the genus Mustela, the polecat has a shorter, more compact body, a more powerfully built skull and dentition, is less agile, and it is well known for having the characteristic ability to secrete a particularly foul-smelling liquid to mark its territory. It is much less territorial than other mustelids, with animals of the same sex frequently sharing home ranges. Like other mustelids, the European polecat is polygamous, with pregnancy occurring after mating, with no induced ovulation. It usually gives birth in early summer to litters consisting of 5 to 10 kits, which become independent at the age of 2 to 3 months. The European polecat feeds on small rodents, birds, amphibians and reptiles. It occasionally cripples its prey by piercing its brain with its teeth and stores it, still living, in its burrow for future consumption. The European polecat originated in Western Europe during the Middle Pleistocene, with its closest living relatives being the steppe polecat, the black-footed ferret and the European mink. With the two former species, it can produce fertile offspring, though hybrids between it and the latter species tend to be sterile, and are distinguished from their parent species by their larger size and more valuable pelts. The European polecat is the sole ancestor of the ferret, which was domesticated more than 2,000 years ago for the purpose of hunting vermin. The species has otherwise been historically viewed negatively by humans. In the British Isles especially, the polecat was persecuted by gamekeepers, and became synonymous with promiscuity in early English literature. During modern times, the polecat is still scantily represented in popular culture when compared to other rare British mammals, and misunderstandings of its behavior still persist in some rural areas. As of 2008, it is classed by the IUCN as least concern due to its wide range and large numbers. Description the appearance of the European polecat is typical of members of the genus Mustela, though it is generally more compact in conformation and, although short-legged, has a less elongated body than the European mink or steppe polecat. The tail is short. The eyes are small, with dark brown irises. The hind toes are long and partially webbed, with weakly curved 4mm long, non-retractable claws. The front claws are strongly curved, partially retractable, and measure 6mm in length. The feet are moderately long and more robust than in other members of the genus. The polecat's skull is relatively coarse and massive, more so than the mink's, with a strong, but short and broad facial region and strongly developed projections. In comparison to other similarly sized mustelids, the polecat's teeth are very strong, large and massive in relation to skull size. Sexual dimorphism in the skull is apparent in the lighter, narrower skull of the female, which also has weaker projections. The polecat's running gait is not as complex and twisting as that of the mink or stoat, and it is not as fast as the mountain weasel, solingoi, stoat or least weasel, as it can be outrun by a conditioned man. Its sensory organs are well developed, though it is unable to distinguish between colors. The dimensions of the European polecat vary greatly. The species does not conform to Bergman's rule, with the pattern of size variation seeming to follow a trend of size increase along an east-west axis. Males measure 350 to 460 mm in body length and females are 290 to 394 mm. The tail measures 115 to 167 mm in males and 84 to 150 mm in females. Adult males in Middle Europe weigh 1000 to 1500 grams and females 650 to 815 grams. Gigantism is known among polecats, but specimens exhibiting this are likely the products of polecat mink hybridization. Fur The winter fur of the European polecat is brownish black or blackish brown, the intensity of which is determined by the color of the long guard hairs. On the back and flanks, the dark tone is brightened by bright whitish yellowish, sometimes yellowish grayish underfur which shows through. The lightly colored underfur is not equally visible on different parts of the body. On the back and hind quarters, the underfur is almost completely covered by the dark guard hairs. On the flanks, though, the lightening is well defined, and contrasts sharply with the general tone of the back. The throat, lower neck, chest and abdomen are black or blackish brown. The limbs are pure black or black with brown tints, while the tail is black or blackish brown, completely lacking light underfur. 
The area around and between the eyes is black-brown, with a longitudinal stripe of similar color along the top of the nose. The ears are dark brown and edged with white. The summer fur is short, sparse and coarse. It is grayer, duller and lacking in the luster of the winter fur. The underfur is more weakly developed in the summer fur, and has a brownish gray or rusty gray color. Pole cats were found in two major phenotypes a typic one and a dark fur one with no black mask. Color mutations include albinos and erythrists. In typical erythristic individuals, the underfur is usually bright reddish. The guard hairs on the trunk are bright reddish or reddish brown. Black guard hairs are absent on the lower body and head. In some rare cases, the guard hairs are so light, they are almost indistinguishable from the pale yellow underfur. In these cases, the whole animal is a very light golden yellow color. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.